Hello and welcome. Brenda here from Brenda Tarot Readings with your general tarot and oracle card forecast. Please know that this is a general and that not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single one of you, but some of it will, so run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. I truly at this point want to thank you for your interest and in supporting my channel, for the likes, the clicks, the beautiful comments and the new subscribers coming in. But I also want to put out a shout out to all the people that are becoming members and joining my channel so that they can see extended readings and get perks when they come into the live views. When I go out live and give out free card readings, you will be in the priority list. So up to the front of the queue you will be put. Well, on that note, I want to thank all of you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please, if you follow anybody that you truly like and they're your favorites, these YouTube creators out here, all you have to do is click the subscribe button and the bell and make it ring and you truly will be showing your support. So on that note, let's see what your forecast has in store for you at this time. Hello and welcome my beautiful Aquarius. Here is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of February the 13th to the 19th, 23. Starting off right off the bat, you've been given the card change and I think you're going to be stepping up into something brand new here. You have this ability to, to know that it's okay to change and it's, that means it's okay to even change your mind. It's all right to change directions too. You don't need to be consistent all the time. This is the time to put the needs and expectations of others aside as well and listen to the beat of your own drum. Do what's good for you. You don't need to follow tradition. Create your own traditions. Okay, you're free now. You're free to express yourself and let your spirit fly. Don't be afraid. Be daring. Go beyond predictable. Just because something has always been done a certain way doesn't mean that it needs to continue to be done that way. Okay, so sometimes you can't control the exact circumstances of your life, but you can control what meaning you give to them. So, step up. Be a little bit unpredictable. Go after what you want. Be wild and carefree. Don't be afraid to, for change. There could be something new coming in. Maybe you're being asked to do something. Don't be afraid to do it. Get out there. Life is short. Know that you're good enough. Here comes the full moon in Virgo. This means that you need to step up into your confidence level. Don't be afraid. We all trip and fall, but we get up and we keep moving. So don't, be, don't allow yourself to get up in your head. Step out of your way and allow yourself to know that you can do whatever you want through this change. And it's okay. Coming in next, you got patience is a virtue. So what are you waiting for, Aquarius? Um, you know, remember, time is an illusion. And you are eternal. And the clock ticks in this physical dimension. But it is just a device we use for measuring. Your higher self has always been and always will be. Okay? And that's able to make your own decisions. If you race through life, you're going to miss the pearls on the path. Slow down, soul traveler. There are no rewards for finishing first. The rewards are the experiences that you are passing by. So be present and acknowledge the wonders of this life. Free yourself from expectations and let your path unfold. So know that you're good enough. You're going through change here. Be patient with yourself as, as well as others or situations around you because patience is a virtue and everything's done in perfect timing. And I like to say that it's perfect divine timing. Okay, Aquarius, on the bottom of the deck, you have been given the Six of Cups. Somebody stepping forward, perhaps. You're getting the gift of someone's attention. Maybe you're being contacted. Maybe they've come with a gift of time, effort, support, or maybe even an apology or love for you. This could be just you reminiscing and romanticizing about your past, thinking about it, as going back as far as when you were a kid or a child, uh, and you may be savoring those memories. But you could also be entertaining or, or, or dealing with children this week where you're going to want to let your spirit sing and you're going to want to be different and you're going to want those changes and you're going to want to think like a kid, okay? You know, being able to let your spirit fly, letting your inner child out. But there could be somebody returning from your past. Doesn't mean it's an ex, your ex, but it could be someone that you knew from your past. Maybe there was something that life got in the way and distanced you. Uh, where now, with social media, we can connect again and reconnect with these people where you're going to want to get together. Maybe you're just going to get together and you're going to sit down and you're going to both talk about the past and laugh and enjoy the time together. So there's a gift coming in here. It could be an apology as well, or you could be issuing one too. Now, coming in in your first row, which could be the energy coming in behind you, or past tense, or at the beginning of the week, 
we have the Eight of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. So there might be a decision here that you're feeling that you can't make. You might be, uh, you know, sitting there with your, you know, with it, look, she's sitting there with a blindfold on and she's got her arms crossed uh, with the swords around her, thinking that she can't go and make this decision. This is all about maybe seeking out a mentor here, maybe seeking out a mediator that can, can, can counsel you through the situation. If this is a legal issue that you can't make a decision over because you're in a, you have, a, you're opposing it with somebody else, then get a mediator. Maybe you need to get a lawyer. Maybe you need to sit down and see what both of you have to gain and lose then this decision will be much easier. So this is about getting clarity. This is about seeing something in, in, in true clarity so that you can make a decision here. You're going to do it because the Ace of Swords, you're going to see victory. You worked hard, you struggled, you know, the blood, sweat and tears, you've had loss here, uh, but now you're going to see victory coming in. The Ace of Swords is a new beginning and often it has to do with new beginnings that are exciting that might start off challenging in the beginning but end up victorious. So if you're dealing with some sort of a legal issue, you could be winning it. Now, the Eight of Cups says if you do, you're walking in a new direction. This could be a uh, parting of the ways, uh, but this could be the end of a situation. You might say, you know what, I'm going in a new direction. I'm moving on. I'm relocating. Um, I'm, I'm starting fresh, but it requires balance and it requires patience because the Eight of Cups says you're planning it. But you're not there yet so you just need to keep getting your 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 ducks in a row keep you know keep seeing the truth getting what you need to find out here so that you can come out victorious and then you're going to be ready and again this has to do with timing uh you're going to be ready to move forward okay coming in in the center position which could be the middle of the week or um what you're feeling now you have another beautiful ace ace of cups hangman and the victory card absolutely a six of wands so there could be a new love there could be something brand new coming in someone could be taking a relationship to the next level or perhaps um you're you are meeting this person that you knew in the past and you're going to rekindle something here but the ace of cups is all about renewal and you know, rebirth and happiness again. Uh, it's the beginning of something beautiful here on an emotional level. So there could be something coming in towards you where you're going to be connecting with someone and that beautiful energy being brought in by the powers that be. You, you know, you've been hanging around for a while and trying to think about a situation as you mull through it, making decisions. Um, you know, while you're there, you're thinking about, well, what do I have to sacrifice to get this? Or what am I going to be leaving behind to get this? Um, you know, that's okay you can mull those things over and those ideas over in your head uh, but also it you could be getting your ducks in a row here so that when you step out to make this change you're going to know what you want and you're going to go after it headstrong and you're going to end up victorious i think you're getting recognized here for the good that you've done the rewards that you've You've, you've created you've created for yourself and you're going to see them coming in this is the attaboy pat on the back card for what something that you've done that you struggled through very hard you come out ahead victorious here um, and now you're able <clears throat> to hold your head up and know that you're good enough with confidence and go after this change that you want so beautiful card this is victory after hard work and struggle whatever this was that you were struggling with wow i love it Okay, coming in next, you have the Knight of Pentacles. We talked about patience being a virtue. You've got the Justice card. Again, we talked about that too. And the Nine of Wands. This is ending up really good for you, Aquarius. Knight of Pentacles, yes. Taking your time, planning your moves, not jumping in uh, too quickly. Uh, making, uh, you know, detailed plans, being articulate. Paying attention to the little details so that when you go forward after what you want, you do come out victorious here. So he's the slowest moving knight there in the deck. We all know that. And look at all the yellow around him. Yellow is usually really good when it comes to these cards. So uh, take your time. Plan your move. I think you're going to be successful, whatever it is. And you, it might be in money. Justice is going to be done. If you've been dealing with a legal issue where you've been advocating, promoting, and defending yourself for some sort of settlement or justice, you're going to get it. Because this card says you win. The justice has been served and it's waived in your favor. So you're able now to go after what you want. It took a lot out of you, okay? Because the Ten of Wands says you struggled hard. You felt as though you were doing all the work yourself. You, you were carrying <clears throat> all the burden on yourself. And you were the one having to advocate, promote, and take care of all this business. But it's over. 
and you're not going to be the burst of be beast of burden anymore. You're not going to. You've learned from that. You 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 made it. You've come out ahead. You've come out victorious here now. You're able to go after and 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 go after your new future because this is the end and a new beginning here where you're not going to have to struggle as hard anymore. So this is beautiful. Oh. Well, my beautiful, beautiful Aquarius, this is your reading for this week. And I do think there's change coming in. Um, you know, you're going to be taking your time to make up your mind, to do things, to move ahead. Patience is a virtue, as we say. And know that you've got all the resources and you're good enough, uh, just as you are, to make all of this success come in so that you can end up here with victory after hard work and struggle. Enjoy this. Enjoy this. Um, this uh, association here with this person coming in from your past. I wish you a great remainder to today, my beautiful Aquarius, and a very positive week here to look forward to. Always know I send you lots of love and many blessings, and I'll see you soon, Aquarius.